We are emergency workers. We're your front line. We fought the Victorian Black Saturday fires when many parts of the state were levelled by a firestorm outside any of our experience. And on February 7th, Victoria's hottest day on record, we faced up to a new emergency, a climate emergency. Scientists are telling us that carbon dioxide levels are heading far beyond anything that humans have ever experienced and temperatures will soon follow. The climate emergency can be dramatically seen in the Arctic, where the polar cap of summer sea ice could be lost within the decade. Losing this white reflector will accelerate Arctic heating. By mid-century, this heat may melt large amounts of the permanently frozen, carbon-rich ground called permafrost. If the permafrost melts, releasing trapped greenhouse gases, the rate of global warming will quickly accelerate. We lose the sea ice and we'll have set global warming on a devastating trajectory. Many of the world's experts tell us we need to get back to low 300 parts per million in the atmosphere to protect our food, water, cities and security. Let's tell it like it is. Our great rivers are becoming parched. Southern Australia is drying from Perth to Melbourne. Our cities are rapidly running out of water. Northern Australia is being belted by extreme storms and flooding. We know what an emergency looks like. And you absolutely have to apply all the resources you have to throw out the problem to protect life and property. That's what we do with fires and floods, but we aren't doing it with the very real threat of global warming. Right now, we need an emergency transition plan. A remaking of how we live that is zero carbon and sustainable. A restructuring of jobs, skills, industry and economy. What is needed is great transformative leadership. In conjunction with a group of concerned scientists, community and business leaders, we've established Safe Climate Australia, a non-government organisation for emergency action to restore a safe climate. 40 of us are donating a month of our annual leave to a national run for a safe climate. With all proceeds going to Safe Climate Australia. The run highlights the great natural systems that we risk to lose through global warming, as well as the enormous risk posed to business, industry, agriculture and the economy. We already lose billions of dollars each year through storm damage, water shortages, wildfires, decreased tourism and shrinking agricultural output. We'll run in November this year, one month before the United Nations Copenhagen Climate Summit. We'll complete a 6,000 kilometre run linking Australia's most precious, revered, great natural systems threatened by global warming. We'll run from the World Heritage Rainforests of the Dane Tree and Wet Tropics through the Great Barrier Reef, the world's largest living structure, which is under immediate threat from coral bleaching. Right down the east coast to the beauty of the Australian Alps. From the headwaters of the Murray River, we'll run through Banjo-Patterson country, passing farming communities affected by lower rainfall, all the way to the Coorong wetlands where the river meets the ocean. We'll also stop off at wind farms, solar thermal and ocean hydro systems, the major climate solutions that will help Australia build a clean energy economy. These technologies represent huge economic opportunities. We'll then run back along the spectacular coast of the Great Southern Ocean. Where we hope thousands of runners and cyclists will join us as we cross into Melbourne to finish our run for a safe climate. Why am I running? I'm running for my little boy and my little girl. I want to leave them a planet like the one that I grew up in. Not one in which we've run out of water, where tens of millions are on the move in a mad scramble for resources, where coasts have been flooded and ecosystems have crashed. Australians have a proud history of running for country, running for this great southern land. I'm running for the great iconic systems that make me proud to be an Australian. Our running group believes that the Safe Climate Australia project is a critically important piece of scenario and risk management planning for Australia's future prosperity. We only get one shot at this. It's now or never. We need you to help raise the funds and attract the best and smartest brains across industry and government, across renewable energy, across clean transport, sustainable architecture, energy efficiency, agriculture and finance to form a plan to restore a safe climate. We need your support when we run through your town or city, so please join us. Australians are magnificent in a crisis and we face the biggest one we have ever faced. The time for delays is over. It's time to become part of the solution. Get involved. It's your future.
Last week, Al Gore was in Australia urging the nation's leaders to act and act now on climate change. Christy Satin, as the man who used to be the next president of the United States, launched Safe Climate Australia. Doing our little bit around the home for climate change makes a big difference. But the question is, what is big business doing to make a change? There are over a thousand Australian industry leaders joining Safe Climate Australia to make urgent changes. And they're here today to listen to one of the world's biggest environmentalists, Al Gore. Safe Climate Australia is a wonderful uh, initiative, apolitical, solutions-based, science-based, bringing together uh, people from all walks of life to respond to what many scientists have now been saying is truly a planetary emergency. We're in the worst drought on record. Winds as high as 125 Okay, Brendan, tell us about Safe Climate, what it's all about. Sure, Safe Climate is an initiative that's come out in response to an emerging sense of really serious threat from climate from the world's leading scientists, particularly in the last two years. We're watching global warming start to track a lot more rapidly than was even expected five years ago. Collapse occurred as scientists and politicians... So things like the Arctic ice cap, we're seriously looking like losing that within the next 10 years, and that's got enormous consequences for humanity. So Safe Climate Australia is an attempt to uh, pull together the best brains in the Australian economy across industry, government, the community sector, the renewable energy sector, all the climate solutions, and pull them into a think tank to actually work out a practical costed plan for taking Australia to a safe climate future. So we have to get our act together. Why did you personally become involved in this? I've been watching climate change for the last 10 or 15 years. I have three brothers in the emergency services who fought those fires and a sister-in-law. So my family are emergency service family and they're directly involved. So that really inspired me. They would not say this fire or that one is a direct cause of global warming. But what they do say, again, with increasing force, is that the odds have been shifted so heavily that fires that used to be manageable now threaten to spin out of control. Having Al Gore come and speak today it was just one of the most terrific things. He has been a global advocate for rapid movement to a safe climate and he's very solutions focused. And he's, he's a tremendous inspiring person. It's difficult to ignore the fact that the cyclones are getting stronger, that the fires are getting bigger, that the sea level is rising, that the refugees are beginning to move from places they have long called home. Al Gore has been an inspiration over the years, showing that it is possible for business to be successful as well as environmental. Your scientists and engineers in Australia have been leading the world. Somewhere around about 70 to 80 percent of Australia's population wants to see action on climate change. The issue is that they're not sure what to do. So the process is really to establish a transition plan which would be available uh, to the public and to inspire them to become involved. So if you want to act now and make a difference, jump on the 9am website for more information. We've had invitations to people across the spectrum of society. That hasn't happened before. Mm -hmm. And we hope that'll be the success of uh, Save Climate Australia. That we have the opportunity to turn our hands to a task that is so worth doing that it justifies our greatest labour. This crisis is gaining momentum, and the reason why is not that complicated. Today, we will put another 70 million tons of CO2 into the thin shell of atmosphere surrounding the planet. For too long, we've ignored the threat of climate change. For too long, we've walked down the wrong track, but not today. Safe Climate Australia has been formed to build a plan to guide Australia to a safe level of greenhouse gases by combining the best science and the best minds in the country. When real emergencies loom, remarkable change is possible. And ladies and gentlemen, please join with us in making it happen. Our children, not too many years from now, I want them to look back and ask, how did you find the moral courage? to rise up and solve a crisis that so many pessimists said was impossible to solve. And part of the answer will be that in Melbourne, Australia, a movement gained force with men and women from every part of that great nation coming together 
to say we know we have a challenge and we will respond.